Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. We asked Gabe Britton Cancel MP Mike Calloway a question that came from the community about the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. So far, almost 7 million people have applied and about $20 billion in served benefits have been paid. We asked Mike Calloway if essential workers with underlying health conditions would be eligible for the Emergency Response Benefit if they refuse to go to work for safety reasons. Here's what he told us. Yeah, my, my, my recommendation of what, what I read in the guidelines, if that person has an underlying health condition and has concerns because of, of, of COVID-19 as a related to it, that person, I, I would believe, would be eligible for, 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 uh, for the new benefit. And how would they prove it? Well, I think this is, this is what gets at the heart of um, uh, things like our, um, like our CERB, like the original reiteration of the CERB and the current evolution of the serve is that basically it's an oath uh, you attest to the fact that you're telling the truth uh, a couple of reasons why we've done that number one we didn't want people to uh, get tied up in process by going to a doctor trying to get a medical notification tying up the doctor and the nurses then on paperwork as opposed to being practitioners and helping people so it'd be a natural attestation, I think they call it, but in essence, an oath that you are, are, are telling the truth that you have an underlying health condition that uh, that would preclude you from from going to work, um, and that would be my belief uh, on that. And the other aspect of that too is that when you make the application, um, if you have any questions about that, the, there are two numbers to call. One is an automated number, is my understanding. The other one. Uh, is not, but there's also an opportunity to leave a question in the online version. And Service Canada is supposed to come back to you within two to three days in terms of answering those questions. Uh, but that would be my understanding is that if someone has an underlying health condition uh, that would leave them prone uh, to uh, a worsening uh, impact of that condition. Uh, to me, that is one that is worth exploring for that particular viewer that you have. And if they don't have one, but they live with somebody who has it, there's a place in the form for you to explain that part? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, the, again, my understanding is happening too. And it's great that we're having this conversation again, because each, each day that passes, I, I get feedback on how things are working. I'm asking constituents, tell me how you're getting along on... On, uh, on applying for the CERB. Tell me how you're getting along uh, in terms of the new uh, $40,000 interest free loan over two years for small businesses. I had somebody who uh, took me up on it today and uh, they texted me uh, and they just said about the $40,000 loan that it was, um, it was very simple to apply for. I've heard the same thing with CERB is that it's so simple that I've gotten probably eight or nine calls asking did I do it wrong because it was so simple to do so that tells me that we need to really review all of our uh, uh, pre-COVID processes because a lot of times it's layered with red tape um, so, um, well, so we'll see how this goes. We want to hear from you. Are there any essential workers who can't go to work applying for the emergency response benefit? Tell us how it went. We'll be doing weekly interviews with Mike Kellaway so we can ask him your questions. You can send them at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.